The truth is, I was saying, not again. I had that with George Lockhart. Dominated all three rounds, but I won by split decision. So it's the same thing over and over again. When you fight in a guy's hometown, you got to expect it, right, if you don't finish it. But he trained very well for me. He knew what I was coming with. So his defense was pretty solid. No, I wasn't surprised. I knew they watched all my fights. So they knew the rear naked was my go-to. So when I was going for it, he already had his chin tucked. And I could hear his coach calling for it before I even attempted. So he kept reminding him. So he knew what to expect. Yeah, he was a lot tougher than I expected. And um, when I went for the choke, he just had his defense there. That's why I couldn't get it. Yeah, I, have, I had an injury, so I couldn't really train as hard for this fight. So it affected my condition a little bit because normally my condition would be a way better, but I don't want to say what kind of injury it is, but I had something that came up during the fight, so it slows guy. I'm expecting to fight Ryan Ford. I really don't care what comes up. I'm looking forward to it, man. It's a fight that I look forward to. He's an exciting guy. Mike Ford goes for the finish, and we'll give those people one hell of a fight in Edmonton. We both, like us matching up together, we match up real well. Someone's gonna get hurt in the fight and that's what's gonna happen. For this one, you could expect firework. I really don't go in with a game plan. I just take what comes at me. Right now, I don't have a Twitter, but I'll have it hooked up this week. So look for me on Twitter, probably Joel Powell MMA.